so hello everyone let's start our project which is of countdown counter so before doing that i have created this uh, work folder in here and i can open visual studio by right clicking on the location and if i click on this open with code it will open the project directory inside the visual studio code and we'll be writing three files which are html css and javascript so first let me create this index.html which will provide the structure to our app the second one will be our style.css file and the third one will be our script.js file in which we'll write our logic of javascript to create this app and inside that i can just uh, do exclamation and then i can press tab uh, where is that autocomplete feature yeah so if i tab then this will write all the basic uh, structure for html page so let me just uh, write counter here and after that the f uh, you have to create three screens uh, you can uh, see in the project video as well that there are screen uh, three screens were there the first one was of one form in which we were writing our form details or our counter details and then uh, there was a counter page or counter section which was uh, showing us the counter actual counter and then after that it was a complete screen so we'll be creating all these three screens in here so let me just write the first screen which is of countdown form uh, let me just write countdown form and I can make it into a comment by clicking uh, control backslash in windows and in here I can write one div and I can give it a class which is of form area for styling and I can give it an ID of counter form maybe yeah after that I can create one form into the form element of HTML inside that I can provide uh, two devs which will contain our main inputs and the labels so I created two inputs or, or the two divs for the inputs so in the first div I'll be writing my first input type text which is a uh, text input type text and after that I can give it a name of title I can give it an ID let me just give counter title input maybe and after that I can give the placeholder to this which is uh, I think what's you are counting to let's write that what's you are counting to you can write any placeholder I'm just writing this uh, and I can close this and I can also provide one label to it and in here I can give enter countdown title maybe which was there inside our project so let me just write it so this is our first div uh, in which we wrote our title input and in the second we'll be writing our second input which is of type date I can write enter update or pick a date maybe let me just try that and in here I can write uh, uh, input type date and I can also give it a name of uh, maybe date or countdown or anything you want so let me just give it a date picker name I can give it an date which is counter date I think I can write that 
and I can close this so I think this label is this label and this input is completed so let's see it first by saving the page and running it into the browser by just right clicking on the HTML page and open with live server by clicking on that you can do this so this was our completed page so we'll style it later let me just show you the HTML first so this you can see that so it is now completed but uh, there is one button uh, that we have to create which we can create by writing button tag in here and I can write type submit to it and in here I can write anything for example submit yeah so this was a thing that I wanted to like create let me just save it and see it yeah it's now created so this is our first screen you can see that it is completed let's go to the next screen and we'll create that so let's just create it before doing that I'll be uh, writing hidden here this hidden attribute will hide this uh, div for a while until I remove this hidden you will see that uh, we'll be uh, dynamically removing this hidden attribute inside JavaScript so we'll do that later so let's just uh, this this part is completed now we'll be creating the second part which is the main counter so let me just write the div or uh, let me just add a comment first so it is the main counter or anything main counter and just comment it out yeah now I can give this div a class an ID if I want to style it very very good so I can just write class of counter here because it is a main counter and I can just write the ID same to the class which is counter yeah so I can write anything but I'm writing the same thing here and now after that uh, I think it was our heading let me just write a uh, counter title here for a, for a while so in here our counter title will be there uh, the counter title is the title which the user will enter in this input and that will be showing in here then there will be our main input or, or the main div which will contain our counter so uh, that will be the main div you can consider that so inside that div I can create one ULLI uh, let me just make it this also indented a little bit okay yeah now it's good so I can write it directly in UL no need to add I think uh, dev and inside that I can specify the li li will be uh, containing our hours days and minutes and seconds and all so that will be storing inside the li so we can write it for a, like for example I can write span here and in span I can write anything for example 3 or and after that I can write days but days should be in, like capitalized okay now after that I will copy the same thing no need to create I can create the same ally again and why I'm writing this into a span because we'll be uh, making it inline block uh, block then this days will come uh, after the like whatever the number will be there and we'll dynamically changing this number by JavaScript in the future video so for now like I'm hard coding both of these like this title will be also replaced by javascript and this uh, number which you are seeing here that will also be replaced by javascript for uh, for now i'm just writing it like this so i can write uh, in here anything for example six hours days hours and i think then there will be minutes so i can write 12 minutes so you can uh, like think of it as a hard coded data which we are writing for demo purposes so you can write anything if you want and now i can write 23 seconds minutes and seconds 
so this uh, will be populated by javascript and we'll style it in into the next video i think inside that we'll be styling all these things uh, first let me show you how this is looking right now so you can see that the previous form is not not visible now because i have added this attribute which is hidden so it is hiding that div for us yeah so it is like this we'll be styling it in the next video let me just create the basic stuff or the uh, layout first then we'll be jumping towards the uh, styling then after that i can create one button inside that as well because there was one more button uh, like this uh, which was for resetting that so i can just write type uh, reset or anything you can write that then we'll be uh, writing reset here inside this and this is the second screen I think let me just save it and see if the button is there yeah it's there let me just copy this uh, no need to copy uh, the third screen we'll be creating which is of completed I think uh, let me just write complete screen or anything yeah i have commented out in here i can give it a class complete and one id <clears throat> that will also be the same thing like complete i think yeah so both both of the things are same i can just write the main uh, heading which is counter completed or uh, completed yeah in here i can also give it a class like class complete heading or title will be the good one a little bit shorter yeah after that i can create one more heading in which we'll be showing the details of uh, our counter like the name of our uh, counter for which the user entered that this is completed on on this day for example so i can write that as well so i can give it one id because why i'm giving this uh, like all these id because we'll be getting the elements by their id so we can also get uh, them with the class but uh, by using query selectors and class can be of multiple items so then we have to like uh, extract from that array then that is a, a bit you can say complex so uh, a little bit easier option is to give the ids to all the elements which will be used inside the javascript so i will be giving it complete uh, heading or anything i can write complete uh, info i think complete info and after that i can just write uh, for example uh, anything i can write uh, countdown i can write i count down finished or completed you can write also the same thing or on we can write for now just a dummy date for example 27 0 2022 20, yeah after that i can create one button which will allow us to create one more like uh, one more counter and that will be uh, there I can also haven't given this uh, an ID you can write counter reset or anything you can give not type it's ID yeah so in here I can give uh, anything for example uh, type or uh, let me just leave it because we are not in the form so no need to do that it is also of type reset you can give that if you want so I am just leaving it now so in here I can uh, give it an ID of complete button or anything you can give button or uh, button I can give the same button okay that will be like more specific so in here I can write a new countdown I can write the text inside the button new countdown 
so for now if I didn't add any uh, like hidden attribute here so you can see both of them yeah you can see that both of this is present that's why I added a hidden in the previous form so that the previous one will not be there but the this one will be there so these three screens are were the main uh, screens which will be uh, like switching between and we have created the basic HTML or the layout of the uh, screens so we'll be styling all of these screens inside the next video so let's meet in the another video and style them a little bit